and I grew up in a Christian home and went to church and went to Bible camps, went to a Bible college after I graduated from high school. I went on a missions trip actually the summer I graduated from high school to Dominican Republic. I think I've gone through some roller coaster rides in my, in my walk where things, I wasn't as, as strong and tried to do things my way instead of uh, where I know God was leading me. And being a, I'm a single mom raising three boys and the struggles that I, I've been going through and still trying to do it all on my own and not you know, relying on God's strength and, and on things that he would want me to do as you know, raising boy, three boys and, and having them also in church and learning, discipling them has been my challenge. I was not at rock bottom, but I was close. <laughs> like I just was just so burnt out and I knew that I needed to, you know, renew my, my life with Jesus and, and walk the way that, you know, he would want me to, to walk as a Christian. As I've gone through the chapters of the blueprint creation and all the, the mountains, the rivers, everything, you know, that's, that God created and realizing that that same power is inside me you know, as an individual. I think that was really huge for me. With my kids especially, you know, it's something that it's going to be easier to talk with them as they're learning, you know, going through reading it and listening to the, the topics that, you know, we can discuss more things that hopefully will help them in their walk. One of the things that God has shown me through chapter 6, Jars, is viewing my struggles as talents and how I can use the struggles of a single mom to help others. As a single mom, I have always worked, I worked at the YWCA for many years and a lot of it was, you know, helping women and children and that was a huge focus, but I didn't always get, I think, some of the struggles that other women were going through until now as a single mom, having to raise my kids on my own and all the struggles and financial burdens and, um, that's something that I hope that going through it myself, that that would be another uh, gift, talent, I guess you could say, that I could use, you know, with other women in our community and in our church. I think because up until this point, up until like a year ago, I was trying to still figure everything else out on my own and really just, you know, giving it all over to God and, you know, Him to be my rock to help me through through things. I am the Unmoved Movement.